Good evening, everyone. It's Michelle Woodlavis, your Tupperware hostess with the mostest. Welcome to Tupperware Whisk Shelly Mythbusters Edition. I'm waiting for just a couple of minutes for our host and some of you party guests to join us. I know I'm starting about five minutes late. It's 4.05 here in California. And I know it's a little bit early for some of you West Coasters, but some of you East Coasters, it's a couple hours ahead of time. So I wanted to go, and I'm sorry if I hang up on you guys at all, I'm adjusting my little earbuds there real quick. If I, um, I didn't wanna miss you guys. I didn't wanna go live too late and then you guys not be able to join. Oh, I gotta make sure that my comments are on here so that I can see when you guys pop on and comment. Okay, that looks good. Anybody out there yet? Can anybody see me? If you guys are popping on, let me know if you guys see me. Oh, I have a watcher. Someone has joined us. Send me a comment so I know who's who's with me. I know I went live just a few minutes later than I originally planned. I see somebody's watching. Who's watching me? Hi! Welcome to Cooking Whisk Shelly. Get it? Tupperware Whisk Shelly. See, I don't know if I'm close enough for you guys to see the whisk. I thought it was cute. So this is Cooking Whisk Shelly Mythbusters Edition. Um, every week I try to pick a party theme and last week was super fun. We did 80s, so, oh, hi, Missy, hey. Kim is looking for you as well. Well, tell her if you can message her to come to the party page. I'm not live in my VIP group tonight. I'm live coming at you right here on your party page. So, I'll wait here for a couple of you guys to join me. As I was just saying, every week that I do parties, or not every week, but every time I have a party going, I like to pick a theme. So last week we had an 80s party where I dressed up kind of 80s style and had a side ponytail and a scrunchie and, you know, a little off the shoulder sh shirt and some big hoop earrings. It was really fun. I love getting to dress up. I see I have a couple of watchers. So welcome to Tupperware Whisk Shelly Mythbusters Edition. I'm coming at you this week, breaking the myths of the kitchen. So I wish I had printed myself out one of the papers of all the different myths and hopefully I get to cover them. Hey Kim, thanks for joining us. I see you found me. So I didn't get time. I really wanted to find like a lab coat and some lab goggles that I could put on to go along with the cooking science kind of theme of this week which I'm hoping to bust. So the first thing that we're going to do is break the myth of metal in the microwave. Now I know I asked you guys the question at the beginning of, of our, our pre-party, we'll call it, um, some true or false kind of things about some myths, right? So I think the first one was metal in the microwave and I'm pretty sure everybody was like, totally false, you cannot put metal in the microwave, that's a lie. So, let me prove you wrong. Tonight, we are gonna make some sliders in our microwave with our Micro Pro Grill. Let me turn you this way for just a second. I'll try not to give you guys a whiplash here tonight. Okay, so, this is a Micro Pro Grill. Tupperware has come up with some of the most innovative products that are going to break every single myth that you have ever heard about your microwave or some kitchen hacks that we're gonna, we'll call them kitchen hacks. So this Micro Pro Grill here is obviously stainless steel. It might not be obvious on camera, but it is stainless steel. And it has two silicone plates on the bottom and on the top. It weighs probably a good four pounds, I would say, maybe eh, a couple of pounds, four pounds. Anyway, it has this plate inside the lid and a plate inside the base when they are combined, they heat up and make almost like an oven, depending on which way you rotate the lid, or they make a grill and you put it right in the microwave. It is, oh, I don't know. Kim, you're in California. What is it today, like 106? I don't know. It is blazing hot out there. And my husband has been having a hankering for some hamburgers. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't wanna go outside in 106 degree heat and stand over a grill, right? 
and I sure do not want to turn on this gas stove and I have a heavy cast iron grill that I can put right on this stove and grill but it is hot I'm already sweating just setting up for this party I mean let's be real right <laughs> so it is super hot outside and there is no way yeah 106 it is way too hot to be cooking outside it's way too hot to be turning on an oven it is way too hot to be standing over a stove so we're gonna cook in our microwave with this micro pro grill let me show you how to do it before i forget to show you inside my micro pro grill i need to remove this ring this is a separate ring that you can buy separately i think it's only about 20 bucks if you decided to purchase the micro pro grill let me tell you though you're going to want this ring because the other night and you can ask miss kim she'll vouch for me i made a chocolate chip giant chocolate chip cookie in this in my microwave my son is right here and it's How delicious. Good. delicious so good he loved it my husband loved it and uh we've been snacking on that thing it's huge it, it was delicious so you're going to want this ring you can make brownies i made berry banana bread there are so many things that you can do in the microwave, in this micro pro grill. You are gonna wanna have it. It is literally one of my favorite things. Okay, but I'm gonna get it out of the way for now because I don't need it tonight. Okay, so let me put it here for now. So I got my gloves on. The first thing that we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn this this way so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And if you guys can't see what I'm doing here, just let me know. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, I have here one of my freezer mates. Now, um, I don't know if one of the Miss was a freezer mate question or not, but um, I think it was. And I've got here, uh, I think about a pound of hamburger meat that I've thawed out. And so this one's already thawed out, it's not frozen. Although, if I was using my stack cooker tonight, we could cook this from frozen in the stack cooker. We could make taco meat, we could make, um, see, oh, these have great seals. That's what Tupperware is known for too. They're amazing seal. So this is super flexible. Mine's thawed out, but you can still see, like I can move this. So if this hamburger meat was frozen, I could give it a little squeeze, just like if you were kind of prying out a, an ice cube tray and this would come right out. So I've got a pound of hamburger meat right there, putting it in my, my that's a bowl. We're gonna mix everything up in our that's a bowl tonight. Get that out of my way. I don't need these gloves at the moment, so I'm gonna take them off. That was for costume purposes only. I wanted to uh, exude the, you know, laboratory theme. Anyway, so one of our other myths was chopping with a knife is quicker, right? It's faster to use a knife. So I do love my Tupperware knife. I will say that Tupperware makes some pretty great knives and we will use it a little bit, but I wanna show you how fast, this is called a chef prep, by the way, if you're wondering what this little thing is. It comes with a paddle attachment, so you could whip batters and stuff in that too, but I don't need it tonight, so I'm setting that aside. And it comes with a blade and it's got this little guard on here so I don't cut myself. So I'm just gonna remove that little plastic guard there is a little point right inside and a little hole on the bottom. So I just wanna set that in there for stability. Now, I need an onion. I, I pulled these out of my refrigerator, guys, so give me a second to find my onions. These are Fridge Smarts, and I'm gonna tell you about these a little bit later, and there's an amazing deal on these, and trust me, you guys are gonna want these too. So for this recipe, I need white onion. So let me pull out some white onion. These Fridge Smarts are amazing. You're gonna want them. Um, if you've any of you seen any of my other videos, normally my dogs are running around in the background. And if my daddy is watching, I'm taking a bit of your advice, dad, and not letting the dogs run around in the background. So they are doggy gated out of the kitchen. Anyway, I wanna show you guys how quick this is. So let me move this out of the way. I don't think you guys can see what I'm doing. If you can't see, tell me. I'll try not to be a ninja swinging around my knife in here. Okay, so I did cut this half of an onion kind of in half. And I'm just gonna cut it in like three big chunks because I just want it to fit in here easily. So I'm just gonna put it in my chef prep. There's these little guards on the side and I'm matching one over here. So I just kinda wanna line those up, give it a little twist. You'll see there's a little pull handle here, kind of like if you were gonna start a lawnmower, right? From back in the day. On the bottom also there's this little rubber piece for stability. I'm just gonna set it on the counter. Give this a few pulls. Diced onions. You want it finer? Give it a little shake. 
what was that, like 30 seconds? These onions, let me take them out so you guys can see. Normally I would not take them out like this, but I want you to see how finely diced these are. Look at that, in like seconds, right? In seconds. So I didn't tell you guys what kind of sliders I'm making. Um, my theme tonight is kind of Mexican foodie. So we're gonna put some jalapeno, some onions, and cilantro right in our burgers, and then we're gonna stuff them with some spicy cheese. We're gonna put these sliders in our micro pro grill. You know what, I forgot. I, I was gonna put everything in here and just chop it up together. So let me pour out my onions for a second so that I can pour them back in. I love all these little vatsables. They're just, I love how they have a hole and they just give you stability. They're so great. Okay, so if you guys can't see anything I'm doing, let me know so I can tell you. Okay, I also need to get out a jalapeno. So, pull out a jalapeno from here. Oh, look, we're growing a garden. Any of you guys that see me, look, I got one of my little serranos here. These are piping hot, so I am not gonna use one of those bad boys tonight. I do not wanna burn my family's face out. <laughs> those things are hot. Also, the cool thing about using um, this little bad boy right here to chop up my onions is that my hands normally would not stink like onions, but uh, as you can see, I poured them in my hand to show you guys. So <laughs> normally I would not smell like onions. Okay, so I already know that these jalapenos are kind of hot. So if you did not know, jalapeno spices are in the seeds and stems. So I'm gonna remove part of the seeds and stems from these jalapenos because I do not want to burn my family's mouth. Now my husband and I are both half Mexican and we do like spicy stuff, but I used um, these jalapenos earlier for some salsa and they are spicy. So I don't, I don't want to use all of it. So, okay, I gave that like kind of a rough chop. If I was doing salsa, I'd kind of be going in the same, same way here. So I got onions and jalapeno. I'm gonna put my lid back on, give it a few more pulls. At this point, if you wanted to make salsa, you could just add in some tomatoes. I like to give it a little shake every now and then, that way you get everything equally chopped. But it's already pretty well. I have one jalapeno that's stuck under the blade and doesn't wanna get on there. But you guys can see how quickly I diced up onions and jalapeno. Just for time's sake, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, now I need some cilantro because these are jalapeno, cilantro, and onion. So, my dogs are talking. They wanna know who I'm talking to probably. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull off a good bunch of cilantro. I don't even have to chop this at all. The little chopper here is gonna do all the work for me, guys. And I'm trying to do this quickly so that I can get them into, where did I put my lid? There it is. So I can get them into the micro pro grill. Not that it's gonna take very long, but I'm gonna make a um, corn salad. And if you have ever been to California, we love our cotija cheese, Mexican street corn. So I'm making basically a Mexican street corn salad and I wanna show you guys how to make it. Okay, so we've got onions, cilantro, and jalapeno. Now I have that pound of hamburger meat, I'm going to just put this right in my bouncy bowl. Get my blade out of the way there. So, if you guys can't see what I'm doing, let me know. You ordered the Fridge Mart containers too. Uh, you are going to love them. You are gonna get so much use out of them. You're gonna save so much money from not throwing out your produce. I had my cilantro for six weeks. I have in my refrigerator right now lettuce, romaine lettuce that I've had for about a month. You know what, sometimes the best tools in the kitchen are your hands. So you put on one of these gloves so I can mix up these sliders, get it moving on a little bit more quickly here. I am gonna add in, ah, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna show you guys how to open this can with this can opener but I forgot and use a jalapeno instead of green chili. So, you know what, maybe I'll use green chilies in my Mexican street board and I won't do another jalapeno. All right, so anyway, I do wanna add a little bit of black pepper, sprinkle that on, and did I just touch that with this hand? No, I didn't, okay, good. I don't, I do try to preach food safety, so I hadn't touched any meat with this glove yet. Um, but if you did, you would not want to be touching anything else in your kitchen. 
and if you did you want to wash that i have raw meat in here and this is just some garlic lover seasoning i love garlic lover seasoning and because it's mexican night i'm going to also add some chipotle seasoning so garlic chipotle a little bit of pepper i'm not adding salt because i'm adding this cheese to the middle actually you know what i should add just a pinch of salt probably not too much salt but a little bit because this cheese is gonna have salt in it and i try not to add too much salt to my food but you need to season your food. Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna get right in here with my hands really quick. Also, a good tip for um, making ground meats or, there went a fly. Every time I'm making a video, a fly wants to just fly right through my video. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Anyway, anytime you're working with any kind of ground meat or you're working with, um, dough you don't want to over mix it because that's going to make it tough you want to just kind of mix it to where everything is incorporated so that's what i'm just doing here i'm just kind of folding all the different little things and this smells incredible already i can smell the jalapeno you guys the onion the garlic the cilantro so fresh okay so i've got everything kind of mixed in i want to show you guys you can see it incorporated now i'm going to get this out of my way for just a second. I'm gonna get that out of the way. I'll save my knife because I'll need that later, but I'll get a fresh, clean uh, cutting board for that. Okay, so I'm gonna get my Micro Pro grill here and I'm just gonna make some sliders there. And I pre put my cheese in here because I don't want to reach into this bag and touch it after I've touched raw meat. Okay. So we're just making sliders so we're not getting crazy here, right? So we're gonna form in our hand a little ball like like so. Probably like, I don't know. I don't want you don't want to go crazy, but we're gonna put cheese right here in the center. And then we're gonna put a little bit more meat right on top, and we're gonna kind of just fold it together and stuff that cheese inside who doesn't love a ooey gooey cheeseburger like i love me an ooey gooey cheeseburger so we're going to enclose the cheese like so so these are probably a little bigger than sliders but you guys can see it's a good size so this micro pro grill is going to cook four of these patties so you're going to be able to feed your family and not be standing over the stove trying to cook these in a pan or standing over a grill with hamburger meat splatter splattering just everywhere all over the place and then you got to clean that up later i mean after a long hard day of work you want to come home and get dinner on the stove and serve your family you don't want to be sitting there having to wash ten thousand dishes and clean up hamburger grease splatter or a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, for time's sake, let me just do two because I don't want you guys having to sit here and watch me make, you know, a bunch of patties. I'll be able to come back and finish these up later. Let me just put a lid on it. For time, time saving purposes, I want to get these going so I can show you some other things. But you get the premise. I'll be able to quickly make another two patties later for my family really, really quickly. Okay, so let me just wipe that off. So now, since I am grilling, I'm going to put my lid on. You'll be able to see if you purchase this. There's some little arrows, and I don't know if you guys can see them on the screen. I want it to go in the grill setting. There's two ways this can go. If it's on the grill setting, it's gonna sit right down. You see how it goes past the edge? If it was the casserole setting, it would sit on the edge, and it would leave a space on both on two sides, but this doesn't. So. We're gonna put it on the grill setting. We're gonna put it in the microwave four minutes. Let me turn you this way. Four minutes. Then we're gonna flip them over and put them in for another four minutes. I have an older microwave, so I know that's how long mine's gonna take. If you have a newer microwave, that might be like three minutes and three minutes. So let me get this out of my way here and I'll finish making these burgers later for my family. It literally will only take minutes. Okay, while that's going, I want to pull this out for a second and then I'm gonna show you how to make this Mexican corn salsa. I mean, Mexican corn salad. So earlier, we had a guest that asked about the mandolin. Now, Q 
Kim knows because she saw me making a demo video before where I was struggling so terribly bad to make the cheap mandolin that I had purchased off of Amazon work. You know what, let me wipe that off. I can see I got a little hamburger meat and you know, I'm sorry. I just, I have to be a clean freak just a little bit, guys. You can't be too careful when you're cooking with raw meats and you gotta make sure that you keep your family safe. So, just clean that up real quick. Sorry guys, I try really hard not to pop it on and off camera, but I wanna make sure that I'm also keeping my family safe. Let me see. Uh, large ones in the catalog, online canister set. Oh, I might have missed some of that, shakers. Um, I wish you guys, I wish I could have gotten a Facebook room to work so we could have like commented back and forth. If I don't answer any of your questions, just ask me again and I will try really hard. What are we cooking? I think I did. It's not wanting to cooperate here. I'm trying to get back to the comments. All right. So anyway, that looks so good. Well, thank you. I sure hope so. Hopefully. Kim, if I don't answer someone's questions, maybe you can chime in for me because I know you know a lot about Tupperware too. So, someone earlier had asked about the mandolin if it comes with everything you need. Let me tell you, it does. So, the first thing I want to show you is this crappy one that I have. Sorry, Amazon. I apologize. Google, if you're listening, I apologize. So, I ordered this one because I was meal prepping and I was spending a lot of time trying to cut my vegetables and they weren't coming out the same size. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get a mandolin and I'm gonna be able to um, cut up my vegetables super fast. So I got this one and I was like, okay, well I guess I have to hold it or I'm, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But so it had this thing. So I was like, okay, well I can move the blade thing up and down kind of, all right, cool. So then I was like, all right, so I gotta hold this. Okay, well I see it's got these little things. So I push on the thing, this part falls out. I'm like, well, how am I supposed to hold whatever I'm putting in here if it's not gonna stay in here? So let me just cut this potato in half because I'll use the other half on, on the other mandolin. And I'm not just doing this because, I'm not giving this demo with this thing just to bad mouth somebody's product. And I, I wanna make that clear. I bought this because I really thought I would use it. And I'm over here struggling, trying to figure out how to use this thing. And I'm like, Half of my potatoes getting stuck in there. I think uh, Kim might have been watching me live and I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna use my knife. It was terrible. It was like the worst experience and I was gonna throw this away and I was like, you know what, no. I'm gonna save this so I can show people how easy the Tupperware one is to use. So, and you can see like it didn't even get them in that even, you know, they're like half chunked off at the end. It was a mess. I was like, this totally isn't worth it, and I ended up just using my knife. Okay, so, cool thing about this one that I want to show you, on here, it's like safety first, people, right? You do not want to chop your hand off. So, you just pull this out just a little bit, and you're able to, I want to make sure you guys can see the edge. Oh, four minutes. Hold on, guys. we got to flip our burgers. Okay, pot holders. Now, while this has stay cool handles, it is made of stainless steel, so don't burn yourself. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it smells so good already, you guys. I can hear it sizzling. Hello, my beautiful thing. Okay, I need to get something to flip with. All right, so, pulling this off. Oh my gosh, hello, beauties. Hello, beautifuls. Now, another thing I want you to notice is, I'm gonna get this close. Around the edge, there's a well. Oh darn it, I don't know, if, I don't think you guys can see. So all that grease is going to the side. And this is a super nonstick um, surface. So I didn't have to add any oil, any grease, anything like that. You guys can see there's a good amount. Let me get my camera closer. I'll do it like this so you guys can see. All the grease, hopefully my phone doesn't fall out, is around the edge in that well. Your food's not cooking in that grease. So it's healthier for you. This is also not sticking. So it's gonna flip so easily. Always flip away from you too. You don't wanna splash yourself with hot anything because we wanna make sure we get the other side brown too. Oh, I can't wait to eat this, you guys. Oh, see, stay cool. Uh, this bottom plate though is extremely hot. Do not touch it. Okay, back in on the grill. I can already hear it sizzling. Can you? 
I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. Already sizzling. Okay, back in the microwave. I really don't even think it needs four minutes, so I'm only gonna do three minutes. Okay, three minutes. So, let me get back to this mandolin. So you pull this little handle out, and then you turn it. And as you turn it, you can see that the mandolin is lowering. So now you can see it's got a, a, a pretty good size gap there. So however you big you want them to be, you can move your mandolin to that size. Now, also on here, another cool feature that that one doesn't have, this you're gonna notice when I turn it, is gonna have little blades that pop up. So you can make like french fries or, where's my potato? So this one is not gonna fall apart on you. Let me push it down so you guys can see. It's got little needles. So you can literally stab your potato here, stab that guy, and make sure that he's not going anywhere. You're not gonna like kill yourself, you know, just trying to get this and cut yourself. So you can go down like this, give it a turn, come back, and I have now not only sliced but dice, where did they go? Oh shoot, you guys, guess what I forgot to tell you. It comes with another blade. Ah, it's on the bottom. <laughs> There's another blade that you can put on here to make like, uh, when you're making pickles, oh my gosh, I'm so funny. When you're making pickles or you wanna get those grooves in your, um, make your carrots fancy for a fancy, you know, salad. I'm so silly sometimes. So this blade, comes right off you guys. I probably have to have it. It smells good. Well, I'm making those sliders up so you can eat in just a little bit. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm so silly. I feel like such a rink read. So anyway, you could take this off. It sits right back down. I have now gotten diced potatoes. So let me see if I can show you guys. I don't want to cut myself. I still have that little blade sticking out. So you can, you can slice, you can dice, you can make French fries, you could make um, crisp cut fries, you can julienne, you can, let me get this little um, little thing back down here so I can show you. Oh, and let me lower that blade because I don't want to cut myself either. So, but look at this guys, you can just, I don't know, can you see me? I am just going so easily cutting this potato all the way down to nothing look at this you guys look at this look at these awesome oh my husband am i going to church tonight no babe i'm doing tupperware tonight my husband was asking me but look at so i can make little o'brien potatoes or you know um that was just so easy did you guys see me struggling with the under other mandolin and i oh hey guess what our burgers are done my husband my son is clearly hungry you guys just heard him let me move this out of the way so that was so funny, you guys. I cracked myself up. Okay. My son was like, it smells so good in here. What are we having? I mean, can you guys believe how quick that was? I mean, I just amazed myself when I got my mandolin in from Tupperware because I was like, you know, I wonder if it's going to make that big of a difference. But it really, really did. Okay. I need my cutting board here. So, all right. Let's get these bad boys out of the microwave. Okay, so it does smell so, so good. Can you guys hear that? You guys hear it sizzling? It's amazing. It's amazing how well this thing works. Let me just grab a plate so I can show you how good these look. And then I wanna show you that they are not sitting in their fat. These are ooey gooey, delicious, fully cooked hamburgers stuffed with cheese, steaming hot, fully cooked. I did not have to stand over the stove. Here, Bubba, if you want to come make your burgers, come go ahead. They won't mind. They'll probably think you're real cute anyway. <laughs> but look at this. Look at this, all you guys. That was not getting cooked in to our burger. It was sitting all in the well. Can you guys see that? Am I able to show you how that fat drained away and you're not eating that? Amazing. Okay, babe. Here. You want a hamburger bun or you want a slider roll? I want a hamburger bun. 
Okay. Sorry, guys. I got to feed my son, too. <laughs> also, if you, my son's going to get to eat homemade macaroni and cheese later because I'm going to show everybody how to use the microwave pasta maker later. So if you guys want to be added to my next live, let me know. I'll invite you to that party, and you guys can see how to make macaroni and cheese in minutes in your microwave. Okay. Let me get this guy out of the way. You're making mac and cheese. Yes, I am. In the microwave in minutes because I am myth. My dog broke into the kitchen, you guys. Don't be scared. That was not a gunshot. I'm so sorry. I told you guys I had to lock my doggies out because my dad told me I can't be having my dogs running in and out of my my lives. And it started because I watched somebody else's live, and I don't mean to like badmouth anybody, but they had their cats on the table in their live, and I was disgusted. Or it wasn't a live, but they were demonstrating like how to have a Facebook party and. I was totally Don't disgusted it, by yeah. it, so I locked my, my dogs out of my kitchen just for my daddy. That's so amazing, easier than... Yes, right, that Amazon mandolin was terrible. Okay, so do you guys want to see how to make this Mexican corn salad, or do you want to see some of my favorite things? Because I don't want to forget to show you guys how to make some of these amazing things. And I can just make a quick amount. You know what, I used my other bowl earlier. Okay, so... A uh, quick way to shuck corn, guys. I did pre-cook this, just so you know. I just boiled it up earlier while it was blazing hot in my kitchen and sucky. But, okay, so, a quick way to... My son's laughing because he knows I was trying to rush around and get everything done. So if you're ever going to um, get your corn off the ear, put a bowl in the bottom of a bowl. Stand up your corn on the bottom. That's going to give you some stability. And then you can... What do you need, son? Stuff. Oh, you messed up all my stuff. Well, I mean, you better put it back. I gotta show everybody else all that stuff. I, I have a whole table full of Tupperware favorite things and missed to bust on my table that I want to show you. Okay, so basically, we're just taking some cooked corn off the ear of the corn. You can cook it however you want to want. Like you could steam it in the microwave super fast if you want. You could do it in the microwave pasta cooker actually with a little bit of water, and you would be able to cook your corn super fast. Um, or you can grill it. Grilled corn is delicious. Um, I would not use this corn in the microwave um, grill though because the plates do need to be on the top and the bottom of the food and um, on something round like corn it's not going to sit properly and you don't want to short out your microwave because this is the metal in the microwave part that we're talking about. So because it has that plate on there you can um, microwave with it because those plates keep the microwaves, because that's why it's called a microwave, the microwaves from connecting to the metal because of the silicone uh, coating on that plate. It's encapsulated in the silicone. So, okay, uh, Gavin, you need to share. I know, right? He needs to share. I'm hungry too. Nice but you know what? Food. It'll take just a minute or two in that's that microwave to burger. make a couple more in a minute. Okay, so that's that's three ears of corn. I'll do the rest later. I want to be able to show you guys this. Okay, so normally um, I would have my little chef prep, but I already use it for something else. So, and I'm just going to make a little quick version of this. So I'm just breaking up the corn a bit here. Breaking up the corn, breaking up the corn, breaking up the corn. And um, this um, actually is corn that my dad got me. I don't know where he got it, but he got a whole bunch of corn and he bought 10 ears and he got me five and him five. Mm -hmm. My dad's always so good. Uh, Gavin needs to be my helper. I think so too. I might get more ladies watching if I could get him on the video. He's pretty cute. Okay. Yep. See, there you go. Okay. So what do I need? I need some cilantro. So I will cut a bit of cilantro. I don't need too much because I'm just doing a smaller version of this. So I need some purple onion. And you know what, maybe I, well, I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use this can opener. So I really do need to use my can opener. Okay, so you guys will be able to see that it would be a lot faster if I was able to put this in my chef prep. Um, but instead, I am just cutting up a little bit of cilantro. The small amount that I'm making probably only needs like a couple of tablespoons. And if I could put this in my chef prep, 
it would go so much faster. They make a small version of the chef prep called the chop and prep. Thank you. And you're welcome, son. It cuts um, herbs and stuff so, so fast. So um, I do want to get that. And I am just going to put a little bit of purple onion um, for this small amount. I don't need much. So I'm just going to uh, quickly dice my dog's bub. Can you take care of that? My dog's broke into the kitchen really? again, you guys. I'm so sorry. Really, I apologize for my doggies. Oh, Gissler Farms. You know, my dad probably got his from Gissler too. Okay. I just need a little bit of this onion. So I just want to dice it up really quick. This um, corn salad recipe can be adapted to, you can use white onion, you don't have to use purple. Or if you have green onions, like scallions, and you're not a big onion fan, um, green onions would be great. Or scallions, that's a lot more milder of an onion. Those would be great in here. Um, I just got my can opener today, you guys, and I'm so excited to use it because I saw some other people using it and what they said is and hopefully i do it right you guys are watching me learn to use this so hopefully i do it right so they said to put it there's these little gears right here so i want the can to get in between the gears and then you close it up and i should be able to pick up the can yep this is pretty easy so this little thing twists like this and it is not going to make a sharp edge. So it's basically unsealing the can. That's what's different about Tupperware's can opener. And I'm just twisting it. So people with Arth, oh, I heard the little pop. So that means the seal is done. So then I'm just gonna open this back up. And then you see there's these little hooks like right, right on the edge there. So then you want to just put that back on your can, close it up again, close up your handle, and that comes right back off. I did not have to touch it. I'm not cutting myself. This is totally not sharp. So this would be great for a senior citizen or somebody with arthritis or just carpal tunnel from years of typing like I have. Okay, I don't need much of that. So I'm just gonna grab a spoon here real quick. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. And I am half Mexican. We use a lot of um, peppers. So don't worry, this is gonna go to use. I will definitely use this can of green chili on something. Okay. Oh, cochiha cheese. Where did I put my cochiha cheese? Oh, it's right here in front of my face. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So I'm just going to tear off a little bit of this cochiha cheese and break it up. So if you've ever had Mexican street corn, it's basically um, cooked corn. And then they usually put this like artificial butter that tastes amazing um and then it's got um some chili powder on it but we're going to use chipotle chili powder so i'm going to add a little bit of that in here and i'm not using that weird butter stuff because i'm doing weight watch oh you guys if you've seen any of my other videos i'm down another pound where did you get the oops i couldn't read the rest of that let me see if it came out on my watch where did you get the great corn salad i made it up because I like street corn. And the street corn guy only comes by a few times in my neighborhood every now and then. So I was like, you know what? I can turn that into a salad. So I did. So anyway, I put some, oh good. I hope you try it. It's really, really good. So I just put a little bit of mayonnaise. If you're doing keto, corn is not necessarily keto, but mayonnaise is. And hey, you gotta have some good carbs every now and then and some starch. So again, um, I'm not adding salt because cotilla cheese is salty. So if you want more salt, you can add salt, but I'm not. So this is basically some cilantro, some purple onion, some cotija cheese, some chipotle powder, a little green chili. You could put fresh jalapenos, diced green canned chilies if you want. Um, you guys, I can't wait to take a bite of this, but I hope you guys can see it. This put, comes together so quickly and it's great if refrigerating it. I'm gonna take a bite, you guys, see how it tastes. You guys, next time you have a potluck, make this. And if you don't have fresh corn, don't worry. Um, frozen corn is frozen at the peak of its freshness. Just thaw it out. You don't have to actually cook it, but you can. You can boil it for a few minutes and then let it cool. Anyway, 
make this recipe. It's super great. Okay, so back to myth busting. So I'm going to turn you guys this way. Can everybody see my table okay? I'll bring the stuff closer too. Okay, so far we have covered metal in the microwave. That's what one of these noises was. Where did they even get this? This is what, oh, Gavin dropped this out of the refrigerator. This is the lid from one of my fridge smarts. Okay, anyway, so we have covered metal in the microwave. Myth busted. Okay, next thing. I think it was broccoli in the refrigerator after three days. Smells terrible. It does, but not if you have fridge smarts. Now, you guys have already seen me use mine. So I'll just have my cilantro for a minute. So these fridge smarts all have, sorry, I had an itch on my nose. My dad will be mad at me for that. Missy, you could use sour, you could use sour cream. And that's what's great about recipes is that you can twist them and make them your own. If you're not a fan of Chipotle, use a little chili powder. If you don't want to add chili powder, just use the garlic powder, a little garlic, salt and pepper. Um, you could put ranch seasoning. I have a great one. Um, sorry, I'm gonna advertise it for a second Tupperware. If you guys have never tried Flavor God seasonings, they are all natural. They have no salt in them. This one's ranch, you can tell I've used it a lot. Um, that's my favorite ranch seasoning. You could put ranch seasoning, it would be delicious. The other thing I recently learned is that, I'll just go, I'll go back to fridge marts in a second. So, um, Tupperware sells these modular mates, right? But they sell these spice canisters, right? So, I learned the other day, when you buy one of these from the store, as soon as you take that seal off, this lasts you three to four months and then it's gonna go bad. If you buy it at the store, bring it home, Put it in these. Tupperware right now also has label makers on sale. I didn't put mine on very uh, evenly, so I just stuck one on in there and wrote my seasoning name. And this is going to go from lasting three to four months to three to four years. Mind blown. Three to four months in this. Three to four years in this. Now, can you imagine there are stores that sell bulk spices, right? like Winco for one, I know. You can go to the bulk section and you can probably take this with you and put like, you know, one of their little plastic baggies in there, fill it up so you know how much you need and then tie it off, bring it home. Three to four years. How long, I mean, I can't even imagine how much money you're saving from not throwing out the spices that get old and, you know, after a while, I probably have one here Matter of fact, I went to use one on a live demo and it was hard and I had to like beat it to shake it. Have you guys ever had to do that? If you have these, you don't need to. This is gonna stay fresh for three to four years and you're not wasting money. And I am all about not wasting money, you guys. And that is what the fridge marts do, the fridge smarts do. I wanted to test this and see how long I could hang on to cilantro. I am half Mexican. I make salsa probably every day, every other day, or I use it in something like this salad or in a recipe for burgers or something. Cilantro is a great um, spice. Matter of fact, if you've ever used coriander, if you've not had fresh cilantro where you live, and I do know they sell it dry, but coriander seeds come from the cilantro plant. So similar flavor there if you've never had fresh cilantro, but I wanted to see how long it would last. So I just kept pulling off little bits and pieces of it and using it. Six weeks before these you could maybe make cilantro last a week if you stick it in a cup of water like my abuela my grandma that's what she used to do she would buy it at the store and she'd bring it home put some water stick it in the refrigerator for like i said maybe a week three four five days maybe but in these six weeks it's not extending the life of your food for days it is extending them four weeks you could have broccoli for weeks I have romaine lettuce right now that have been in my refrigerator for a month. Um, I mean, I have cucumbers in there probably about the same time because I'm a wage watcher, so I make salads every day and I just cut off what I need, make a salad or uh, cut up some veggies for hummus or whatever, which that's another thing that the chef prep is great for. You can make hummus, you can make baby food, you can make smoothies. I mean, there's so many things you guys can use this for. It's way more time saving than pulling out your big food processor or blender. So when we're talking about myth busting, cutting vegetables and produce 
and making baby food, if you're a new mom, this is gonna save you time like crazy. And when you're a new mom, you need time. Not just when you're a new mom, when you're busy, anything, you work, even if you're retired, we all have stuff that we have to do and we all need more time. Well, let me tell you, Tupperware has found ways to give you time. Look how long it took me to get that burger together in minutes. Cutting up these vegetables in minutes. Saving me money by allowing me to not waste and throw out my, my produce and my spices. I mean, I'm telling you, Tupperware is breaking myths left and right, cutting them down. Another one, plastic in the microwave. So this contraption here that looks like, what's that big purple hunky thingy there? This I just got in as well. This is the microwave pasta maker. Plastic in the microwave, right? <laughs> My judo chop rock, you also need a chef prep. Yes, you do, Missy. And there's three different ones you can get. There's a little one, like I said, the chop and prep, you, which is great for like um, chopping nuts, chopping spices, chopping herbs, um, chopping garlic, fresh garlic but you can make fresh pesto in it. It's perfect, you know, if you're like a single person and you're not making a big meal, but I mean, the one I have is perfect for single people too. It just, you can make a personal size smoothie in that thing and just nothing flat. Anyway, back to microwave plastic. So um, I'm not gonna demo this now, but I am demoing this in about an hour and 10 minutes. I have another party. So if you wanna see that, let me know. I'll add you to the party. Come back and watch me make macaroni and cheese in minutes from the microwave. So this is really cool because on the inside, it's basically foolproof. Anybody can use this. On one side, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, maybe if I put this up here. On the, this side, there's the water line. On this side, there's a pasta line. So let's say if I put two servings of pasta, which I had it reversed. So two servings of pasta, you put it in here, you put it in up to the level line that's in there. Then you're gonna turn it around and go, how much water do I need? And then it's gonna give you a corresponding fill line. So then you're gonna put it in the microwave without the lid because anybody knows that has boiled pasta water on the stove, if you put the lid on, it's gonna boil over. So don't put the lid on. You just put this with your pasta and your water, a little bit of salt, because you need to season your pasta, people. If you're not seasoning your pasta, and you're doing it on the stove, start adding salt. That's when you season your pasta. So anyway, put it in the microwave for the probably, let's see, I want to invite, I will add you, I promise. Okay, so as soon as I get here, I'll go back and I'll invite you to the, the next party. So anyway, you pop it right in your microwave, cook it for the amount of time that you would normally do it on the stove, six to eight minutes normally for al dente pasta. But you're not heating up your house in 106 degree temperature, boiling water. Next coolest thing. After we cook our water on the stove and put our pasta in it and wait for it to cook for seven to eight minutes while our house has turned into a humidifier, then we have to do what? We have to bring it over to the sink and we have to get a colander and drain the pasta and get a steam facial and all of that. So again, these have stay cool handles on the side so I can pull it out of the microwave. You'll notice on this end here, there's holes like a colander. On this lid you'll see there is an arrow so put the lid on now this does not have a seal so you can't like go back and store this in your refrigerator you're gonna need to put it in something else but you put the lid on with your stakehold handles walk over to your sink and go and dump out the water and your pasta is gonna stay right in here I'm telling you innovation after innovation after innovation so come back and watch me on the next party we're gonna make macaroni and cheese now Anybody that knows me knows my favorite thing to put in the microwave is my stack cooker. Last night I had a horrible, busy, crazy, hot day and I had to cook dinner for my husband and my son who were hungry. So I made a delicious cilantro lime rice, yes, and I did do it with long grain, long cooking rice instead of just minute rice. In the past I've used minute rice, but somebody had asked me, Missy, I believe it was you, if you could use long cooking rice so I wanted to see if I could so what I did was I boiled the corresponding amount of water on the stove while I was prepping so two cups of water to one cup of rice and I put my one cup of rice in the base if you have not seen what a stack cooker is and there's also a cookbook right now that's only 10 bucks if you want a cookbook there's all kinds of recipes 
So if you've never heard of a stack cooker, it is literally what it says, stack cooking. It comes with two seals so you can prep ahead, put the seal on, put it in your refrigerator, pull it out, cook it when you're ready to cook it. It comes with a lid that can double as an additional layer to cook it. It comes with a colander, which I love cooking my hamburger meat in this. Since I have got this thing, I have not cooked hamburger meat on the stove because I just put the colander back in the one and a half pork uh, casserole. I put the, the hamburger meat, put the lid on, put the one and a half quart in the microwave for about two minutes, pull it out, break it up a little bit, back in for two minutes. Meanwhile, all of the yucky fat, like we saw it drain out to the sides of the um, Micro Pro grill, right? All of that fat was just draining off. Well, it's gonna do that for you too in here. So when you cook in the colander, all the fat is draining to the base below and it's not cooking in your food, saving you hundreds of calories. You don't have to sit there and try to pour it off into another bowl with a paper towel to absorb the grease, saving you more time, saving you calories. It's amazing. And then it comes with a three quart casserole on the bottom and it comes with a cone so you can make cakes, which I have made a cake in my microwave in minutes. I have a demo on YouTube. Check it out if you, if you, obviously I'm not making a cake right now, but this thing is amazing. So last night I put my long grain cooking rice in here with the two cups of boiling water and a little bit of salt and I just let it steep while I was prepping everything else. I did not use the colander piece last night and I used the one and a half quart casserole as the next layer and I put in this layer my chicken tenders, some bell pepper, some onion, some seasoning. And then in my top layer, I did not use the lid. I flipped it upside down. I put some black beans with a little wa uh, water, onions and some jalapenos and a little bit of chipotle seasoning. Put it all in the microwave for 25 minutes. Went down and sat down and spent some time with my husband. 25 minutes later, dinner was ready. All I had to do was cook some tortillas on the stove. That was it dinner in 25 minutes and I was able to serve it right from this. It cooked beautifully. When everything came out, I did add the cilantro, some lime zest and some lime juice. I fluffed it up, it cooked beautifully. So yes, Missy, you can cook long cooking rice right in the stack cooker. Um, like I said, just go ahead and steep it while you're preparing everything else. It cooked up beautifully. I served it right from there. I didn't mess up more dishes. It saved me cleanup time. I got to spend time with my family and it was amazing, and I love, love, love the stock cooker. Probably, probably really close to my favorite thing. Just going backwards for two seconds, um, the stack cooker recipe book is only $10 right now and has amazing flip chart recipe books. There's, you could, there's a recipe for grits, there's a recipe for um, how to do like Italian breaded chicken, beans, chickpeas, stuffed uh, bell peppers, only 10 bucks. So if you buy the stack cooker, I definitely recommend getting the recipe book because you'll be ahead of the game. I've kind of just been learning as I've been going with it and I love it. Okay, I gotta adjust my earpods, so hopefully I don't hang up on it. Going back again. So right now, this is a Fridge Smart set and you can buy one of these and get one of these free right now. Normally it's about a hundred bucks just for these four, but right now you can get two of these for a hundred dollars and you are going to just get that money back in no time by not throwing out produce what i didn't mention earlier was on the front of these i started to say there is a fruit and a vegetable picture you can't really see it very well in the pictures but you can see like this one has a half circle there that's half bubbled in and half not bubbled in well the lids have a corresponding um bubble that's half in open or closed that is the correct oxygenation that your fruits and vegetables need to stay fresh longer and Tupperware has figured that out. Every single one of these also has raised feet on the bottom. Now I usually try to say this in my Tupperware demos but Tupperware recommends and I don't think this is the exact quote from them but that you put your fruits and vegetables in here naked, dirty, and dry. So if you are going to wash them, leave them out on the counter, paper towel or dish track, let them dry then put them into your fridge mart and then put them into the refrigerator. Don't put them in here soggy because that's what's gonna speed up the fruit and vegetable 
rotting basically and so when you put them in here put them in here naked dirty and dry your fruits and vegetables are going to last i mean not forever but for an extremely long time same thing with the modular mates so i just pulled out a couple of, of ones that i have here um, there's a whole array of sizes and shapes it's like legos for ladies because you can stack them organize your pantry so quickly i'm all about being naked during that right oh my gosh it's so hot um so this one is the cereal one and we buy cereal for my husband my son um who is now 16 gonna be 17. he's the only one in our house that really eats cereal but before when we had those other like bag cereals from the store he would never close them and then we would get ants and they would get into the bags you are not going to have to worry about that with your modular mates because they have a seal that keeps liquid out they are airtight um, your snacks and cereal are going to stay fresh for months not weeks or as soon as you open that your shelf life starts to deteriorate when you pour them into a modular mate they're going to last you a long time this one here has an entire box of baking mix just like your regular pancake mix from the store um, and I just keep it right in there on this side it says pancake so that I know it's pancake mix but these come in an array of different sizes this is gonna save you money guys I know you think like gosh that whole set right now actually there's a whole set for about $59 it's a mini starter set but when you get them and you see how long your products are lasting and that you're not throwing out rice that weevils got in um, one time my mom thought she was doing me the hugest favor. She volunteers for the Food Link program and they had some extra stuff and she knows that I like to um, do like a lot of volunteer work and donating and stuff like that. She dropped me off stuff. Well, one of the boxes happened to have weevils in it. It got in to everything, you guys. I had like a weevil infestation. They were in the rice, they were in the pasta, they were in the cereal, they were in the flour, they were in the sugar, everything. I wish I had modular mates then because if I have the modular mates, no critter is getting in them. They are air and water tight. No ants are getting in them. Your food is going to be safe in these modular mates. They are amazing. Like I said, there's a set on sale right now. It's a mini starter set. I think it's only like $59. If you want to try them out so before you go buy a big set, trust me. Once you buy that mini set, you get them home and you start using them and your pantry is organized and your food is lasting longer, staying fresher longer, not going stale, you're going to want the other set. So another thing that people don't really know about, and I'll try to speed this up because I know we're getting close to an hour. Um, Tupperware makes pots and pans, you guys, and I always forget to tell people how amazing they are because they're super ergonomical. Now you see I'm holding this pan and it's a good, it's a good weighted pan but it's not causing me to be like, oh, the pan's so heavy, I can't hold it. The way that it is designed is designed to be ergonomical so that you can move it around. You're not, you know, like gonna drop the pan. Also, these handles are stay cool too. So when you get to about this point down, they're gonna heat up, but it's designed to stay cool. All their pots and pans and lids are designed that way so that you don't need pot holders. Also, I could go from cooking this right on the stove putting it into the oven. I think they can go up to like 375 degrees. So you guys can make those amazing dishes that you see on the Food Network that go from stove into oven if you wanted to do that. Um, I don't want to take up too much more of your guys' time, but um, Tupperware does have some amazing on-the-go products. They are all about saving Mother Earth and being eco-friendly. My husband and I use our water bottles every single day. I bought a Brita pitcher. I refill this thing. I carry it everywhere. I go. They sell some amazing bottle brushers that will reach all the way down, not like the ones that you get at the store and you're like trying, fighting to get to the bottom. This one's really going to reach all the way to the bottom of your bottle. I've saved so much money and probably plastic from having to recycle, um, not buying cases and cases of water. I take my lunch to work every day and I have to tell you guys about this before I go and I'll just show you the little one in the lunch it container because the, the lunch it container is probably my favorite it comes with a little salad dressing um you can put your salad dressing or some salsa in it it comes with a fork and a, a knife that stick right onto the lid so you're not going to lose it it's a really good size if you want to put a salad in it or a taco salad or something like that but i have to tell you about the crystal wave line now vent and serve also does this they have these little snaps on the top 
that do that and they allow your food to vent. So when you go to put it in the microwave, you're not having to take the lid off. So whatever yucky stuff is sticking to the top of that microwave is not gonna get in your food. Um, these actually you need to use on the reheat setting too so that you don't melt it. This is one of those plastic can't go in the microwave but you need to use reheat setting. Um, the vent and serve though, you don't. You can put that from refrigerator, from freezer, right into the microwave. It's made from the same material as the stat cooker, um, which is made from like the glass on fighter jets. So it's super durable, it's not gonna break. Um, it's got a stain resistant um, surface on the inside. So you're not gonna be able to like put spaghetti sauce in it and then it's stained for like 10,000 years and never coming off. It's gonna clean up beautifully. Um, there's so many more things I could go on and on and on about Tupperware and tell you about all their amazing products, but I don't wanna take up too much more of your time. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to see the next session, because I have another party to do at six where we're making macaroni and cheese from the microwave. So just let me know. Kim, I will definitely add you. I haven't got it. What didn't you get? The salad bowl and you love it. Got the salad bowl. Um, I, I'm trying to read up through all the comments. If you have any more questions and I didn't get to something you wanted to know about, just send me a private message. I'll be more than glad to answer that. I will add you to the next party so you can see. Um, most are dish, yes, dishwasher safe. You could put them in to a dishwasher. Um, they're heat resistant, most of them, like I said. Um, these can go right into the dishwasher. Um, the uh, chop and prep can go in the dishwasher. The stack cooker can go in the dishwasher. All of this stuff is dishwasher safe. Um, it's so friendly too. All of Tupperware products are BPA free. They're trying to be health conscious. They're trying to be eco-friendly. And I wish that I had more time to tell you about all of the stuff that I have because I didn't even get to freezer mates and I wanted to bust through all of these myths. I know I got to show you one of them um, when I was doing the hamburger meat. So if you have any questions about any other products, please let me know. Um, I would love to answer your questions. Tupperware uh, has really just literally sold me on these products. They're products that I truly believe in. I'm passionate about it because I've used them and it changed my life. I've only been a Tupperware consultant for about three months, but I've loved Tupperware for most of my life and I didn't even know that they had all of these other products that are time-saving, money-saving, literally life-changing. And they have, I'm a busy mom. I also work 10 to 12 hour shifts as an emergency dispatcher. I take care of my dad and my mom as the time um, when they need to go to the doctor, when they need some help. Um, I try to be there for them. So I have a super busy life and the thing that I need most of in my life, if I could ask for something is more time. Tupperware literally has given that to me. Um, being able to pop my dinner in the microwave and go sit down and spend some time with my husband last night was super precious and super rewarding. And if I had to be in here in the kitchen, I would not have gotten that time with him. So if you have any questions about anything, come back come and join me again on my next party hopefully i'll answer those questions for you or send me a message i would love to answer any of those other questions so you guys have a blessed and amazing night and i gotta get ready for my next party so i hope to see you all soon have a good night if i can push this button